Well, good morning and welcome back to another week of Matins in the Morning. It is Monday, June 10th. That's Monday of the 10th week of Ordinary Time. My name is Nathan. I'm joined by Joseph. We're coming to you from the St. Thomas More House of Prayer, where it is our mission to pray and promote the Liturgy of the Hours. You can find out all about our retreat center and the work that we do over at our website, liturgyofthehours.org. If you've been praying with us using the prayer books, you know we're in Volume 3 of the Liturgy of the Hours 4 volume set. Just have a few page numbers for you today. You can find these pages in the description below the video as well. Our opening hymn today, we're going to take from page 851, beginning at the bottom of the page, I Sing the Mighty Power of God. Our antiphons and psalms will then begin on page 848. And then our readings, responsories, and concluding prayer are in the proper of seasons, proper for Monday of the 10th week in ordinary time on page 322. As always, we'll begin with our prayer that we pray in preparation for the divine office. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Spirit. amen. Open, O O Lord, my mouth to bless your holy name. Cleanse my heart from all vain, evil, and wandering thoughts. Enlighten my understanding and kindle my affections, that I may worthily, attentively, and devoutly say this office, and so deserve to be heard before the presence of your divine majesty, through Christ our Lord. Amen. Lord, in union with that divine intention with which you praise God while you are on earth, I offer to you this hour. God, come to my assistance. Lord, make haste to help me. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Alleluia. I sing the mighty power of God that made the mountains rise, that spread the flowing seas abroad and built the lofty skies. I sing the wisdom that ordained the sun to rule the day. The moon shines full at his command, and all the stars obey. I sing the goodness of the Lord that filled the earth with food. He formed the creatures with his word, and then pronounced them good. Lord, how your wonders are displayed, where'er I turn my eye. If I survey the ground I tread, or gaze upon the sky, there's not a plant or flower below, but makes your glories known. And clouds arise and tempests blow by order from thy throne. While all that borrows life from thee is ever in thy care, and everywhere that men can be, you, God, are present there. Bow down Down and and hear me, Lord, come to my rescue. In you, O Lord, I take refuge. Let me never be put to shame. In your justice set me free. Hear me and speedily rescue me. Be a rock of refuge for me, a mighty stronghold to save me. For you are my rock, my stronghold. For your name's sake, lead me and guide me. Release me from the snares they have hidden. For you are my refuge, Lord. Into your hands I commend my spirit. It is you who will redeem me, Lord. O God of truth, you detest those who worship false and empty gods. As for me, I trust in the Lord. Let me be glad and rejoice in your love. You who have seen my affliction and taken heed of my soul's distress, have not handed me over to the enemy, but set my feet at large. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Bow down and hear me, Lord. Come to my rescue. 
Lord, let Let the the light light of your countenance shine on your servant. Have mercy on me, O Lord, for I am in distress. Tears have wasted my eyes, my throat, and my heart. For my life is spent with sorrow, and my years with sighs. Affliction has broken down my strength, and my bones waste away. In the face of all my foes, I am a reproach, an object of scorn to my neighbors, and of fear to my friends. Those who see me in the street run far away from me. I am like a dead man, forgotten, like a thing thrown away. I have heard the slander of the crowd. Fear is all around me, as they plot together against me, as they plan to take my life. But as for me, I trust in you, Lord. I say, you are my God. My life is in your hands. Deliver me from the hands of those who hate me. Let your face shine on your servant. Save me in your love. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Lord, Lord, let let the the light light of your countenance shine on your servant. Blessed be Be the Lord, for he has poured out his mercy upon me. me. How great is the goodness, Lord, that you keep for those who fear you, that you show to those who trust you in the sight of men. You hide them in the shelter of your presence from the plotting of men. You keep them safe within your tent from disputing tongues. Blessed be the Lord who has shown me the wonders of his love in a fortified city. I am far removed from your sight, I said at my alarm. Yet you heard the voice of my plea when I cried for help. Love the Lord, all you you saints. He guards his faithful, but the Lord will repay to the full those who act with pride. Be strong, let your heart take courage, all who hope in the Lord. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Blessed be the Lord, for he has poured out his mercy upon me. Guide me in the way of your truth, and teach me. For you are my saving God. The beginning of the book of Joshua. After Moses, the servant of the Lord, had died, the Lord said to Moses' aide, Joshua, son of Nun, My servant Moses is dead, so prepare to cross the Jordan here with all the people into the land I will give the Israelites. As I promised Moses, I will deliver to you every place where you set foot. Your domain is to be all the land of the Hittites, from the desert and from Lebanon east to the great river Euphrates and west to the great sea. No one can withstand you while you live. I will be with you as I was with Moses. I will not leave you nor forsake you. Be firm and steadfast so that you may give this people possession of the land which I swore to their fathers I would give them. Above all, be firm and steadfast, taking care to observe the entire law with which my servant Moses enjoined on you. Do not swerve from it either to the right or to the left, that you may succeed wherever you go. Keep this book of the law on your lips. Recite it by day and by night, that you may observe carefully all that is written in it. Then you will steadfastly attain your goal. I command you, be firm and steadfast. Do not fear nor be dismayed, for the Lord your God is with you wherever you go. So Joshua commanded the officers of the people, go through the camp and instruct the people, prepare your provisions. For three days from now, you will cross the Jordan here to march in and take possession of the land which the Lord your God is giving you. Joshua reminded the Reubenites, the Gadites, and the half-tribe of Manasseh, Remember what Moses, the servant of the Lord, commanded you when he said, The Lord your God will permit you to settle in this land. Your wives, your children, and your livestock shall remain in the land Moses gave you here beyond the Jordan. But all the warriors among you must cross over, armed ahead of your kinsmen, and you must help them until the Lord has settled your kinsmen. And they, like you, possess the land which the Lord your God is giving them. Afterward, you may return and occupy your own land, which Moses, the servant of the Lord, has given you east of the Jordan. 
We will do all you have commanded us, they answered Joshua, and we will go wherever you send us. We will, we will obey you as completely as we obeyed Moses. But may the Lord your God be with you as he was with Moses. If anyone rebels against your orders and does not obey every command you have given him, he shall be put to death, but be firm and steadfast. The Lord says, as I was with Moses, so I will be with you. Be strong and courageous. You will lead my people to a land where milk and honey flow. Do not be afraid, for I am with you. I will never leave you, nor will I abandon you wherever you go. Be strong and courageous. You will lead my people to a land where milk and honey flow. From a letter to the Romans by St. Ignatius of Antioch, Bishop and Martyr. You have never begrudged the martyrs their triumph, but rather trained them for it. And so I'm asking you to be consistent with the lessons you teach them. Just beg for me the courage and endurance not only to speak, but also to will what is right, so that I may not only be called a Christian, but prove to be one. For if I prove myself to be a Christian by martyrdom, then people will call me one, and my loyalty to Christ will be apparent when the world sees me no more. Nothing you can see is truly good, for our Lord Jesus Christ, now that he has returned to his Father, has revealed himself more clearly. Our task is not one of producing persuasive propaganda. Christianity shows its greatness when it is hated by the world. I am writing to all the churches to declare to them all that I am glad to declare to them all that I am glad to die for God, provided you do not hinder me. I beg you not to show me a misplaced kindness. Let me be the food of beasts, that I may come to God. I am his wheat, and I shall be ground by the teeth of beasts, that I may become Christ's pure bread. I would rather that you coaxed the beasts to become my tomb, and to leave no scrap of me behind. Then, when I have died, I will be a burden to no one. I shall be a true disciple of Christ when the world no longer sees my body. Pray to Christ for me. That by, that, by means, but that by these means I may become a sacrifice to God. I do not give you orders like Peter and Paul. They were apostles. I am condemn, a condemned criminal. They were free. I am still a slave. But if I suffer, I shall become the freedman of Jesus Christ, and I shall rise again to freedom in him. Now as a prisoner I am learning to give up my own wishes, all the way from Syria to Rome, I am fighting wild beasts, by land and by sea, by day and by night, chained as I am to ten leopards, I mean the detachment of soldiers who guard me. The better you treat them, the worse they become. I am more and more trained in discipleship by their ill usage of me, but I am not therefore justified. How happy I will be with the beasts which are prepared for me. I hope that they will make short work of me. I shall even coax them to devour me quickly, and not to be afraid of touching me, as sometimes happens. In fact, if they hold back, I shall force them to it. Bear with me, for I know what is good for me. Now I am beginning to be a disciple. May nothing visible or invisible rob me of my prize, which is Jesus Christ. The fire, the cross, packs of wild beasts, lacerations, rendings, wrenching of my bones, mangling of limbs, crushing of the whole body, the horrible tortures of the devil. Let all these things come upon me, if only I may gain Jesus Christ. Through the law I died to the law to live for God. I still live within this human body, but I live now by faith in the Son of God. Who loved me and gave himself up for me. With Christ I have been nailed to the cross, and I, now, I live now no longer my own life, but the life of Christ who lives in me. Who loved me and gave himself up for me. Let us pray. God, God of wisdom and love, source of all good, send your spirit to teach us your truth and guide our actions in your way of peace. We ask this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Let us praise the Lord.
and give him thanks. And I'll conclude with our prayer that we pray following the divine office to the most holy, holy and undivided Trinity, Trinity to the humanity of our Lord Jesus Christ crucified, to the fruitful virginity of the most blessed and glorious Mary ever virgin, virgin and to the whole company of the saints, be everlasting praise, honor, and glory by all creatures, and to us remission of all our sins, world without end. Amen. Blessed be the womb of the Virgin Mary, which bore the Son of the Eternal Father, and blessed be the breast which nourished Christ the Lord. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Thank you.